here's a quick video of what it's doing. As you can tell, it is going way too quickly. Uh, and I, in track mode, it's supposed to be at a set speed. And it's at a set speed, but just the wrong speed. I'm going to coin it up and show you. When I start a game, exact same speed. One crash, two crash, three crash, and the game's over. Throttle has no control. All right, let's see how this how this is gonna look. Um, got the schematics out here, and I was looking at the throttle, which is this potentiometer right here. And after the throttle, everything still looked fine. It comes up to K11, which is a 4016, which is a basically an electronic switch. If the attract mode's not active, then it allows the the voltage to go through. On this side, it was looking good. On this side, it wasn't. It just nothing was going through. So, or it's being held low at least. So I, I've been working on this board a long time ago, and I had to stop because I had to borrow a chip from it. But I got the chip, replaced the chip recently, so I'm working on it again. I'd already socketed this, so I pulled it out, tested it, it came out good. Tested this uh, transistor over here, and that was good. So I started looking at this line up here, and this pull-up resistor should should pull it up. I was think I'm thinking, and I'm still not getting any voltage here. So I'm gonna look at this amp here that is connected to. It's a seven four seven LM seven four seven, and I'll replace that and see if I get a good voltage again. So I made the 40 minute round trip to get to the nearest electronic store that would sell these uh, chips here. Picked up that LM745, replaced it, and as you can see the speed looks a lot better now. Uh, there still is no sound. Ugh. And it will not flip. The bike will not flip and it will not crash if it hits any buses. I'll show you that. See, it takes off, full throttle, picks up, no wheelie, and lands it perfectly. See if I can make it hit a bus. All the way slow, still bounces off the bus. So I guess that's my next challenge. So I made a little bit more progress that I documented before I get too far ahead. Uh, earlier in this manual, they have a brief description of how the circuits work and I was able to find the flip circuit told me it started right here and how kinda how it worked and I was able to take my oscilloscope work through this and basically find out that most of this circuit seems to be working right so it starts with R2 and R3 so I went farther back to where these originate up at this counter oops let me move the camera up at these, this counter right here, the top one, and I started probing this, and um, it just was not moving. It it cleared fine, but it, it was not clocking through. This bottom one was working fine, but like I said, I looked at three and four, the, where the clock signal is supposed to come in, and there was just nothing. So I decided to go farther back to these M9s, and notice the inputs were moving, but no output. So pulled this chip out and tested it in my the M9 is a four input uh, four input NAND gate. Put it in my chip tester and it came up bad. So I swapped it out for a good one, and actually that gave me my flip back. I had to drive down to Vetco again for that chip, and while I was there this time, I thought it'd work ahead a little bit, and I assumed because. The uh, all the sound was out. None of the sounds were working. That is probably this amp here. It's the last amp, last output amp before it hits the speakers. So I bought one of those two and noticed that the 18 volts, everything else looked good. But I replaced it and I got most of the sounds now. So I'm just missing one, which I believe is the screech. And uh. I guess that's it. Um, I'll go and show you what's on, how it's acting now on the actual game. 
All right, now to show you what I was talking about on the actual game. Uh, there's still a couple things wrong with it, but but I'll show you what I've done so far. Prove that uh, I can flip over. Well, let me get down to the bottom. Of the I'll do the buses first. It will now crash when I hit the buses. So that's that's good, and I can actually wheelie and completely flip over. And you may notice that when it flips, the sound goes away. So, like I said, that's the one thing I have to fix. It is a screech sound. And right now it's going the wrong way across the screen. Because uh, when it crashed going this way, it didn't reset the direction. So it just starts, it continues going right to left. So that's something I gotta fix also. But, yeah, just a couple more things. Hopefully that should do it. Alright, when I left last time, the screech wasn't working when the bike flipped over, it would just go silent, and the direction wasn't always resetting. So I'll show you what I found out. Uh, it's labeled nicely here, screech, so I knew where to, to look. Uh, I put my oscilloscope on the output of this 7402, and I saw that it, whenever the screech sound was supposed to go on, there was actually a definitely a change in the signal so I knew that was working I can't remember if it was high or low but it was working so from this point it goes down to the audio section of the board into the analog where it produces the the signal and it goes into this 556 timer and I wasn't getting a good signal coming out but because I didn't have this chip I went back and tested this before stuff which helped create the sound and the transistor was good the Amplifier was amplifying, which basically brought me back over to this 556. So I went out and bought a new one, swapped it out, and I got my screech back. And the other part, the other, uh, the other thing I needed to fix was the direction. And that actually took me a longer time than I thought it would. Uh, partly because I found out this manual is for a Rev 1 board. And I had a rev. I was working on rev two, and there's a little bit of difference between the two. Not too much, but enough to confuse me for a little bit. Here is what determines the direction of the bike. It's this flip flop right here, and it just flips between the two directions. So I don't know which one's which, but say the top ones. If this one is on, then uh, it goes left. If that one's on, it goes right, and then. At when the cycle is supposed to start over, or it just resets the this one signal down here resets the flip flop so it goes back to going right. Anyway, everything was working correctly. Uh, this was flipping, and I was getting the the reset signal on the bottom here, but it just wasn't resetting. So I just pulled this chip out anyway, and tested it in my chip tester, and actually it came up correct for some reason. But I put a new 7474 in there, and it was an issue that it was not resetting. So uh, that fixed the direction. And it's the, I think the, uh, the game seems to be working correctly now, so I'll go turn it on and show you. Alright, so I got the game on, and I'll just show you that I think it's working correctly. Show the control panel first. Ah, there it is. One credit brings on the first player one lamp, and the second one brings up player two. And I'll just start a game here. And I'll show the screech sound first. See, that's back. And if I crash it, go in the one direction, it does not continue going that way, so. That is good. And I'll make a good jump at the bottom. Hope so. My reps depending on it. Nope. <laughs> One more time. Got it good this time, I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, wasn't the best jump, but it worked. Anyway, the game is working.